Good evening. Today is July 21st, and this morning I woke up with the song, What a Beautiful Name It Is, in my mind. And I know he puts those songs in my mind because I haven't heard that song in a really long time. So this morning I just, when I woke up, I said, thank you, Lord, for leading me in worship. You have no rival. You have no equal. Yours is the name above all names. A cat just jumped up in my lap right when I started this video. See how this goes. He's kind of clawing my legs. <laughs> my child, darling daughter, you will soon know that all I have spoken is truth. You will soon see that the day of the Lord is here. You will begin to witness all the events described and more. Melissa, I am preparing my people for this season, for the season of wrath and destruction. My people will not be harmed. The wrath is not for them. But those with mixture will experience burning as the mixture is diluted. They will feel the separation happening. Melissa, do not fear tomorrow. I am already there. Do not fear today. I am here. Please tell my people to get on their knees and worship me. Lift me up right now, above all things. I am coming. I need to be received fully. I need to be welcomed into this world. I need to be exalted above all the lies and above all the worldly pursuits. Melissa, I am coming as king. I am going to rule and reign. I am going to set captives free. I am going to be the hero returning on the white horse. I need my beloved enraptured by me, longing for my return, longing to be swept away. I love you, my children. I love you so immeasurably. Will you love me this way? Will you love me above all things? What are you willing to let go of in order to receive me in this way? Sing to me, children. Sing songs of enrapturement because I am about to sweep you into my arms. My children, I long to hold you beyond the veil. I long to be with you in this way. Come home to my love. Come home to me. Receive me. Follow my voice, daughter. I am your Lord and Savior. There is nothing I would do to re that I would not do to rescue you. I have done it all. Receive it, children. Receive the gift. Receive it because in it you will find your deliverance. All you have ever dreamed of and longed for, I am yours. Will you be mine for all time, children? Will you receive the invitation? Will you take what I extend to you so freely? I love you, sons and daughters. I love you. Here I come. Children, I am coming. Ready your hearts. Get on your knees. Worship. Release. Release the things of this world. Put them at my feet and lift me up high above. I am your king your Lord, your Savior, and I have spoken. And here are the scriptures. Nehemiah 2, 6, Titus 2, 1 through 14. 1 Timothy chapter 4, the whole chapter, but I thought maybe an emphasis on verse 3. Genesis 4, 6, Matthew 8, 4. Ezekiel 13, 2, Genesis 2, 6. Hebrews 4, 6, Lamentation 2, 14. Revelation 21, 4. I heard the words, conquer the grave. Great is your reward. Sing songs to me. Fellowship offering. Silence the night. Bring forth new life. And then I asked for a few more scriptures because I was hoping he'd give me more kingly scriptures. But he didn't. He gave me these. Revelation 18, 4. Revelation 2, 14. Deuteronomy 6, 8, Habakkuk 2, 4, Ezekiel 2, 4 through 8, Joshua 4, 2, Song of Solomon 6, 4, Hebrews 2, 6. So in the message, he said that um, he used the word diluted, and that really stood out to me, and I kind of wrestled with that for a moment. Uh, the the wrath is not for them, but those with mixture will experience burning as the mixture is diluted. They will feel the separation happening. So I was just thinking about that because the word diluted didn't seem to go with burning to me. And maybe you, you'll have some thoughts on that. But what I was thinking is diluted sound, sounds, like, sounds like a cleansing. So for some of us, when we're being cleansed of the things that we, we hate, 
you know, that feels like glory. That feels good to us. It feels right. But if we're attached to things and love things, so, you know, idolatry is just anything that gets between us and the Lord. That can be anything. If there's anything that stands in the position of the Lord or stands in the way of him being Lord in our lives, you know, if we're gripping onto those things, when he does his washing and his cleansing, that's going to be going to be painful to have those things pried away. Um, so, but, and, and that's, I guess that's the conclusion I came to, but maybe you'll have some other thoughts on that. All right, so it's getting really dark out here, but I just wanted to say uh, real quick that somebody has made apparently a fake channel uh, that looks like mine and talks about Telegram and uh, it they're responding to all of your comments saying let's discuss the above or something like that that's not me I don't know what to do about that really and I'm sorry for any confusion that causes and then I also want to put at the end of this video somebody sent me a picture of a cloud formation that spelled the word lion and they told me what was going on when they saw that so I'll include that at the end of this video uh, just because it's really really neat and um, I just wanted to share it with you. All right, so I will see you in the next video. God bless you and have a great evening.